This is my guitar collection. I like Gibsons and Fenders. The Gibsons are so expensive. This is a, a copy. It's a Harley Benton. It's a good copy. It's a uh, nothing like the original SG. Uh, some people say it's Satan's guitar. I think that it stands for something else. I looked it up on the internet, but it's not Satan's guitar. This body is a lot smaller than a SG. It's not as thick as the real deal. And but it sounds pretty good. Uh, I got some new pickups for it. I bought some Gibson pickups to make it sound even better. But it's it's a got really low action. It's a sweet playing guitar. I didn't have to do anything to set it up. It was perfect. Okay, so this is a, a Squire Affinity. And uh, it plays sweet now. Uh, the action on it is equally as well as on the, as good as as the one, the Harley Benton. And it's, it sounds okay. I bought a new Seymour Duncan uh one like that on the, uh, the uh, what do they call those humbuckers? I bought a Seymour Duncan. I think it's a, a uh, something for uh, S something for. It's that guy, Jeff Beck. I think it's a Jeff Beck. Uh, but I don't have it in there yet. Uh, strings cost a lot of money. Well, I just put those on there. So, I'm not taking it apart yet. But I usually just don't even play with an amp. But anyway, then, this is my, what do you call these things? Uh, oh, that's a Fender. Well, oh, they're all Squires. Uh, Telecaster. <laughs> I got a new pickup for that, too. Uh, another Seymour Duncan for the bridge pickup and it plays excellent and then I put this one together out of parts this is a contemporary Strat and it's not a affinity that's an affinity and that's an affinity but the contemporary is very thick the body and so it's uh you know, real thick, two and a half inches, two and three quarters, I think. I don't know. Anyway, it's the thick one, like the originals, and it has a real thick neck. I put a fake neck on it. It says Fender. It's actually made in China, but it's pretty good, and I dress the frets, and, um, you know, it's not as close to action as the affinity but it's pretty close close enough and uh, the only problem is is when you put these necks on you gotta drill the holes so I should have it was a little bit rough right down here on the heel and I should have sanded it a little bit you know I sanded the pocket because that's what they tell you to do sand the pocket until it fits good well I did but I didn't sand the bottom of the heel of the neck which was kind of rough and when I finally did kind of straighten that up, put that on, it left a gap of about, I don't know, just a little bit. And I'm not too proud of that. I don't know, can you see that gap? A little one there. So what I did, I'm going to have to redo it, I think. Take it off and put some plugs and glue in the holes and start over. But it's pretty good. The intonation is out. See, I can't get that last E string, the first string, to adjust up. It needs to sharpen it up just a little. It's not too bad. I just play in first position mostly. But, uh, of course, it'll be out just a little. I can't hear the difference, but some people can. And I like those humbuckers. Well, I'm getting tired of holding my fingers or this camera. My arm's getting tired. So, yeah, I need to do some more work. And I thought you guys might like to see my my guitar collection. I even have a Mustang too, but I gave that to my grandson. Uh, I, 
the, the Mustang's all right. It's perfect for him. A lot better guitar than I ever had when I was a kid. But uh, these are pretty nice. I play that uh, contemporary one all the time. I like it. Uh, the neck is fatter than the Affinity by just a little bit, but uh, that little bit makes it pretty nice to play. But that neck right there is real thick. It's kind of like a a '59 Stratocaster neck. And and I put uh, some locking tuners on it, and uh, it's killer. I love that neck. It feels like a baseball bat. So thick. Well, anyway, enough of my boring video. And I'd show you my amp, but it's not any big deal. It's just an it's an orange amp, and it's one of those little what do you call them things? Dark orange dark. It's got a little tube in it. Sounds like a tube amp. Pretty cool. I like it. I used to play it with my headphones. My wife would just you know die if I plugged it into this bass amp, but it would work. But, uh, I have plugged that SG in this bass head. But, oh man, these are the best pedals. This is reverb. And it wasn't exactly cheap. It's, uh, it's the best reverb in the world. Where is that thing? There it is. Omni. It has plate reverb. Man, it is great. You can get you one of them. And these are alright. You know, you ain't got a lot of money. But uh, it sounds like a tube amp. Pretty cool. Alright, uh, well. Can you hear my cat? He's, she's probably hungry. She's always hungry. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let the cat in. She'll come in. Are you coming in, kitty? Come on, kitty. I ain't gonna leave this door. It's freezing out there. Come on. Oh well. That's enough of stupid pet videos. I'll let y'all go.